Healthcare workers continue to work long hours to fight off a pandemic that is only getting worse. News Channel 5's Chris Davis introduces us to a woman who is hoping to give back, proving that kindness isn't canceled. Even a few hours after the lunch rush, the grilled cheesery is chock full of activity. All of these orders under one name, and yes, Kelsey Henry has a huge appetite. I think it's really important to just let people know you're thinking about them. Or at least a ravenous desire to give back. I'm in a good position this year. I wanted to do something where I could give back more. She decided no one could use a hot meal more than our frontline health care workers. I used to work in acute care. I remember what it was like to get hot meals, and so I just thought, well, we could send food. So she typed up a post on Facebook and just asked people. I just said, hey, I have this idea and I would love it if you would just donate your coffee money for the week or the day, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you can do. But she got a lot more than just spare change. Today we're up to 1505. Enough money to require a small army of employees to carry the orders to her car. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Thanks. And an equal number of nurses and assistants. Yay! to take up enough meals to feed the entire ICU unit at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. It's nice to just see their faces. You know, I'm sure that they're just emotionally drained and dealing with a lot. And so it's, it's cool to see these heroes firsthand. One meal is just a fraction of what we owe these heroes. They don't get holidays. They're working endlessly, they're short staffed, people are getting sick left and right, and they're going through a lot of emotionally draining days after, like day after day. But the gesture itself will hopefully nourish more than just their stomachs. I just think if we can do something to brighten someone's day, I just, I think that's worth it. Kelsey hopes to continue making these donations to hospitals across our area. If you'd like to help her do that, we have the information on our website on how to donate. In Nashville, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Chris, thank you. And Kelsey already decided that she'll be buying lunch for healthcare workers at Murray Regional Medical Center next weekend.